Hey YouTube, it's Daniel the Rocket Noob and uh, I'm doing a little unboxing video today because I got a special surprise from BPS.Space my friend Joe Barnard, Rocket Joe uh, who is uh, the uh, president and CEO of Barnard Propulsion Systems now if you don't know what Barnard Propulsion Systems is uh, uh, Joe has been embarking on a project for the last few years to build a, an actively stabilized model rocket that would land under thrust like a Falcon 9 rocket, like a SpaceX rocket, basically. Um, and while he has not done that, he has gotten very good at the active stabilization, meaning he has built a model rocket with no fins that gimbals just like a space rocket. So if you picture a, a space launch vehicle, like, like, a, like a SpaceX Falcon rocket, um, it doesn't have fins, so it has to stabilize itself by uh, adjusting the, uh, the thrust of its engines, and that's called gimbling, uh, or thrust vectoring. And so Joe has, has uh, created a rocket that does that, and he has now created a kit. This is called Signal Avionics, and uh, this specifically is called Signal Alpha. It's the first generation. He has only produced 30 of these, and it's basically a kit so that a hobby rocketeer can produce... A, a, a an actively stabilized thrust vectored rocket and uh he sent me one and i can't believe he sent me one so i'm very excited we're gonna unbox it i i don't this is advanced rocketry stuff so i don't even really know what i'm gonna do with this uh but i'm gonna do something with it um so we're gonna take a look and see what's inside all right Congratulations, BPS. You own the first thrust vectoring kit for model rockets, Signal Alpha. Uh, you know your rockets no longer need fins. They'll look and fly like the real thing now. All right, so that's cool. Little, little uh, thanks from Joe Barnard there. All right. This is so exciting. Ooh, very nicely packed. All right, so we have, ooh, we've got some decals here, some BPS decals, that's pretty cool. There's a white one, which you probably can't see on the camera. There's a black and white one, and there's this uh, round one, that's pretty cool. All right, we got some kind of uh, marking guide here. And a lot of this stuff, this stuff looks like it's all in metric, so, well, yes. All right, so we've got this little doobly-doo here. And this, I believe, is your flux capacitor. Uh, this is part of the 3D printed uh, motor mount. I, I don't even know what these things are. <laughs> this, uh, so uh, this is your motor tube. Um, and uh, from what I understand, you need a, an actual paper liner tube uh, each time you fly because this is a little bit too large and obviously you don't want it to melt. Uh, so the paper liner tube uh, both makes the, the motor fit properly and, uh, and um, protects the, the mount itself. And then of course you've got uh, some, some little... I don't even know what these are. <laughs> Uh, Joe suggested I wait to shoot this video a couple of days because he's going to put up uh, a uh, sort of a, a, a construction video and uh, what all these things are video. But I decided it would be fun to just sort of look at it and go, what is this? I have no idea. Okay, so then we got a lot of little little uh, little little nuts here, little bolts here, um, little machine screws, and then some teeny tiny little Allen wrenches uh, and other kinds of fasteners, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, and then. Uh, Joe's, uh, Joe's business card, Joe Barnard, Barnard Propulsion Systems, bps.space. All right, if, you, if you're not familiar with uh, uh, BPS uh, uh, and uh, you would like to check out some videos, I'm going to put a link to Joe's uh, YouTube channel in the, the description down below. Um, you should check it out. It's pretty cool. Um, this, is, this is advanced model rocketry beyond what I, I normally do. I normally slap some fins on the sucker and then give it a nice paint job. Um, but uh, this is a really cool project. I've seen a number of great, uh, fantastic, spectacular flights um, from Joe, and they've all been slow liftoffs 
and uh, not very high altitudes, obviously. Um, but with a slow, with it, with a, th a thrust vector system, you can actually lift off very slowly, just like a real space launch vehicle. So a long burning motor uh, that carries a, mu a much too heavy rocket uh, for a traditional three or four finned rocket, um, you could potentially fly that and have it just lift very slowly off the launch pad. Um, so this is a pretty exciting new frontier in hobby rocketry, and uh, I'm really excited that I got to witness so much of it just by the fact that I happen to live near Joe Barnard. So um, thank you very much, Joe, and uh, keep up the good work.